now thinking about how it's going to be edited as I'm filming it or as I'm recording it. And sometimes I will have a problem trying to get a certain shot um, or I'm trying to like communicate something and it's just not quite working for some reason as I'm filming. And then I, but at the back of my mind, I know when I'm in the editing portion of the process, I can connect those dots and I can make these shots that didn't quite make sense as I'm filming them make sense in the final post. My mind and the way that I look at life every day is almost through this frame of how can I tell a compelling story? How can I edit this narrative into something compelling for my audience or for something that I wanna teach and get across? And so it's so funny as I like take a look back on my journey starting to create content for YouTube and other video content and getting used to editing in a, a program like Premiere, it's just opened up this really interesting aspect of my own creativity. Because we know what's possible. We know how the tools work. We know how fast we can achieve something. And it really just brings a whole different level of creativity into the videos we're creating. Every incredible masterpiece that you see out there in the world is able to be broken down into a specific step-by-step -step process. And just about 100% of the tools that you're gonna need in order to embark in that step-by-step -step process is available through Adobe software. The world is changing and you're changing with it. What you do in school, how you work, how you connect, how you tell stories. It's why you're interested in communicating your message with video, because you understand that as a way of reaching audiences, it's eye-catching, engaging, informative. It's something you can learn, but there are a lot of other voices out there, right? With millions of hours of content being uploaded to the internet every day, so knowing how to make your video stand out is the key. The good news is you've decided to learn with Adobe, so your creative journey is in good hands. If you've watched all the videos in this series, your journey is well underway. You've picked up the basic editing skills you need to get up and running. Titles and graphics can get your message across effectively. And how video effects transform ideas into reality. Every day is a learning day, right? We keep going and keep going. So, ready to learn some more? Take a listen to this. One piece of advice that I would give someone who's just starting out, um, I'll actually say this to camera because I'm talking to you guys out there. Don't wait for permission from someone to do the things that you love. What I mean by that is don't wait for someone to say, hey, yeah, you should make that movie you've been wanting to do, or hey, you should shoot a documentary about your dad. No one's gonna tell you to do that. You, If you have an idea, if you have a passion, you shouldn't wait for permission to do it. You should start doing it now. You should start pursuing it now. And you'll be amazed the doors that open. I wouldn't have been able to understand how much um, all of us are connected without understanding stories. And so tell your story, tell other people's stories. You might be looking around, looking at all these other creators and other people who are having success in social media and online and thinking, oh, how can I ever get there? I promise you, this is the perfect time to get started. That this whole world of digital media, content creation, it's only just begun. There are so many amazing things still yet to come. There is no chance that you will regret all the time and effort you will put into making something awesome. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.